WNJN Montclair, broadcasting from the campus of Montclair State University. New Jersey's Agriculture Secretary says the state's equine industry remains viable despite some challenges. The Secretary assessed the health of the industry during a recent visit to Centenary College's Equine Center. Desiree Taylor has the story. It's a bucolic setting that many forget still exists in parts of New Jersey. There's plenty of open space for horses and student riders to enjoy here. This is Centenary College's Equine Center, located in Long Valley. Officials say this school offers the only bachelor's and associate's degree in equine studies in the state. I would say the majority of our students want to go on and become riding instructors or trainers. And from there, they go into business. Uh, they may be managing a barn or going into veterinary clinics and working as a veterinary technician. During a recent visit, New Jersey's Agriculture Secretary said it's programs like this that will ensure the state's horse industry remains viable in the years to come. The Equine Center here at Centenary College is a one important aspect of the overall programs that we see across the state of New Jersey. Today we highlight that because they're focusing on equipping the next generation of people that manage and work with horses, an important part of New Jersey's economy. It's hard to believe in such a densely populated state, but New Jersey is home to 42,000 horses. Whether it's training, medical care, or just feeding them, this industry accounts for about 13,000 jobs, and it contributes more than $1 billion annually to the state economy. This is, again, a unique area of the United States that we have so many horses in this area and a wealth uh, of, when you look at the economics of what people put into these horses, it's absolutely amazing. But the outlook isn't totally rosy. The horse racing industry has struggled in recent years because of competition from neighboring states that offer fan slot machines. As a result, some breeders have left. However, other areas of the industry seem to be showing promise. The sport and pleasure horse industry is a robust side of equine that often is not talked about and is something that, you know, we're here in some ways highlighting today. Certainly people are going to horse shows and they're buying horses and they're competing, so... Um, I feel that if they keep doing that, we'll probably be okay. Officials say many of the school's graduates have secured jobs. Michelle Rizzolo hopes she will follow suit, but in the meantime, she says she's enjoying her time here at Centenary College. There's so many opportunities with showing, with um, working with veterinarian, you know, working with the barn managers, and there's, you know, you can therapeutic ride, volunteer here, everything. So there's so many different opportunities, and it's just, it's a blast here. Desiree Taylor, NJN News, Long Valley. And that is the news. I'm Jim Hooker. For all of us here at NJN News, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow.